Hey Simpsons lovers, this is Kevin Hogan and welcome back to Art Smart. I have season one, uh, this is a library copy of The Simpsons here, but I'm going to be talking about the first five uh, seasons. Now, this is just because that is what I have personally been able to uh, obtain and view over the years. And honestly, that's about as far as I really want to go. In my opinion, after season five, The Simpsons started to lose a lot of what I think made it such an original show. And uh, while it's still pretty entertaining uh, for s many seasons after that, the really, uh, the, the core of the show, I think, was in those first five seasons. Uh, the first season here is uh, fascinating to watch. One, you could just watch for yourself from uh, one episode to another just how much the show is changing. Uh, visually, uh, with, the, with the voice of Homer, uh, how the characters from around Springfield started to be uh, kind of brought in and given more and more meat to them. This is definitely an interesting watch. And if you are just interested in how... Uh, films are produced and things, it's very good because, of course, you have commentaries on every single uh, short, or I should say, every single episode uh, from various uh, Simpsons people, and, and including Matt Groening. Um, this particular DVD, I think, is one that you should pick up regardless of how you feel about The Simpsons, because I think this shows you some of the most impactful episodes of The Simpsons. Uh, they had a very realistic feel to the early episodes with, where Marge and Homer were almost going to break up in certain places. Uh, you would have the kids having some real problems at school. Uh, you would have uh, the family really struggling to make ends meet, while later episodes somehow uh, the Simpsons would find money kind of out of nowhere uh, to, to make things resolve. I think this is a really interesting way to look at a series and see how things have changed on television. Because before The Simpsons, those kind of realistic type stories could not be told in a cartoon. And they really broke ground on this. So whether you like The Simpsons or not, uh, the cartoons that are on TV now are very much influenced by this. So if you're an animation fan, you really should see this first season. Uh, as the seasons go along, I think by the time you get to season five, it's a little bit less realistic, especially uh, the HMS Pinafore episode with uh, Sideshow Bob and stuff like that. It gets a little silly. Um, I like the earlier part of the, of the series better, especially season one. But, you know, there are a lot of people, though, that like the cartoonier gags that start happening after that. So really, I think all five of them are worthy. Um, I like how in these earlier uh, seasons, you did not have the constant animations uh, bumping in between uh, what you select on the DVD menu. It gets pretty annoying with seasons four and five with those animations. Um, I'm like, just stop the stupid animation and just load. I don't want to see it. You know, um, early on, though, I will say that they kind of organized it weird. Uh, finding the special features was kind of awkward on this first particular DVD, and it gets a little easier by the time you get the four and five. So um, that's something also to keep in mind. In general, though, that there's, there's enough special features to keep you interested. It tells you about how the series was developed, of course, the commentaries on everything, and you also have, you know, some visual clips, deleted scenes, that kind of thing. So it's definitely worth picking up. If you're going to pick up just one, I would say get season one. However, you can't really go too wrong with any of those first five. Hopefully this review makes you a little bit more art smart, and you'll start buying some cartoons to show your kids, because they deserve to see good animation. Bye-bye, everybody.